Hollywood loves to exaggerate. For decades, they've made things bigger and scarier than they really are. But there's one that steals the show. The Tyrannosaurus Rex, or T-Rex. You gotta be kidding me. This dinosaur is a big deal in movies, scaring millions of people and becoming a real icon of fear. But for years, movies have changed how it looked, how big it was, how it hunted, and even its famous roar. But just how does the T-Rex stack up to its fictitious portrayal? Could the actual creature be even more terrifying than its cinematic counterpart? For those who think the T-Rex in Jurassic World was an accurate depiction of this monstrous creature, you might want to think again. Tyrannosaurus rex roamed the western regions of North America during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 million years ago. As the last known member of the Tyrannosaurids, T. rex held a significant place in prehistoric ecosystems, existing alongside other iconic dinosaurs of the time. It was among the final non-avian dinosaurs to inhabit the Earth, before the catastrophic Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event reshaped the planet's biodiversity forever. Thus, the fierce predator stayed hidden for a very long time, until 1874, when a student stumbled upon a giant tooth by chance. Over the next few decades, various fragments of its remains were unearthed, yet the complete fossil eluded discovery. By this time, scientists have been acquainted with T-Rex for over a century, but it wasn't until the 1980s that the most comprehensive fossil was found in South Dakota. Dubbed Sue, in honor of the fossil hunter who made the discovery, this towering dinosaur stood 4 meters tall and measured an impressive 13 meters in length from head to tail. This made T. rex nearly the size of an African bush elephant, with powerful jaws that displayed dagger-like teeth. After all, T. rex was one of the largest land carnivores of all time. According to the most recent studies, Sue's body mass has been estimated at approximately 9 tons. Another fossil specimen named Scotty was at 10 tons in body mass, the largest known specimen to this date. However, not every adult Tyrannosaurus recovered is as big as Sue or Scotty. Historically, average adult mass estimates have varied widely over the years, from as low as 5 tons to more than 8 tons, with most modern estimates ranging between 6 tons and 9 tons. Now, we will never know for certain if it was T. rex's incredible size or its obsession with tracking down the prey that made Michael Crichton and Steven Spielberg unleash the beast on screen. But what we can tell for certain is their depiction made T. rex become the most widely recognized dinosaur species in popular culture. It is also most probably the only animal that is widely known by its scientific name, Tyrannosaurus rex. But with fame comes consequences because filmmakers love to spice things up. For instance, much of the velociraptors shown in the movie Jurassic Park were actually based on another species called Deinonychus that was larger in size. Michael Crichton wanted velociraptors to look vicious as per its name and decided to oversize them in the movie. Though adult T. rex in movies vary in size, it is often longer and taller than the largest known specimen. In Jurassic Park, Michael Crichton added an extra 8 feet to the length of the CGI to bring out the viciousness that made people tremble in fear. Interestingly, T. rex's proportions aren't the only reason it is prominent in the realm of horror movies. The head of a T. rex was the real deal. This fierce carnivore was basically designed for crunching through its meals. Its rigid skull was optimized for delivering bone-crushing bites, concentrating the force of its powerful muscles into a single, devastating strike, capable of exerting up to six tons of pressure. With its 60 serrated teeth, each measuring about eight inches in length, this predator could pierce and grip flesh with ease, curling its prey into the air before swallowing it whole. In movies, this fearsome power of the Tyrannosaurus rex's 60 serrated teeth is noticeably weakened. One would expect its six-ton jaws to inflict paralysis or even death with a single bite. However, in franchises like Jurassic Park, efforts are made to downplay this power. Whenever an adult Tyrannosaurus engages in combat on screen, its bite seems to lack the ferocity one would anticipate. Instead of tearing flesh or crushing bones, the creature merely nudges its prey. While this makes for exciting dinosaur battles, it diverges significantly from reality. Interestingly, the visual effects company ILM, responsible for bringing the Tyrannosaurus to life, consulted with paleontologists during the design process. However, despite this consultation, 
animators only incorporated some of the provided details. As previously mentioned, the Tyrannosaurus rex possesses unique teeth within its family. These teeth are serrated, slightly curved, and as thick as logs, perfectly suited for delivering immense bite forces. Even if the Tyrannosaurus were to withdraw after biting into a limb or neck, it would likely cause bone fractures and flesh wounds before its prey could escape. Thinner teeth wouldn't efficiently transfer such forces. However, in the case of T. rex, the filmmakers opted for thinner, more knife-like teeth, believing them to be more visually terrifying on screen. Some filmmakers stay true to the science and show dinosaurs in their near-true form. Do you remember this pyroraptor scene from the movie Jurassic World Dominion? It may be the first time a dinosaur has been portrayed with feathers. A bit exaggerated, but closer to the shiny leather-like skin in Jurassic Park movie. Dr. Alan Grant, the paleontologist who helped design Rexy in Jurassic Park, and Dr. Jack Horner, who was an advisor for the film, both strongly believed certain aspects of T-Rex to be untrue, such as it having feathers instead of a hard skin. It may have been a non-existing knowledge back in the 90s, but now we know that several dinosaur species have been shown to have feathers, which has led some scientists to believe that feathers were common among dinosaurs. It may be hard to believe, but all Tyrannosaurus had soft, bristly white feathers. A 9-meter-long relative of Tyrannosaurus rex, known as Euteranus, was discovered preserved and covered in fuzzy feathers. In addition to its formidable jaws, the T-Rex possessed a highly developed sense of smell, enabling it to track down prey with precision. Dr. Alan Grant also would have bet his entire career on the fact that the olfactory part of Tyrannosaurus's brain was larger than other dinosaurs, making their senses better than others. Recent studies have unveiled the astonishing complexity of its olfactory system, revealing that T-Rex had nearly as many genes encoding olfactory receptors as a modern house cat. This keen sense of smell not only aided in hunting, but also likely played a crucial role in finding mates and detecting potential threats from other predators. While movies did a great job portraying this aspect of Tyrannosaurs, they failed to show another petrifying quality, its eyesight. The Tyrannosaurus's eyesight in Jurassic Park has been argued about for a long time. In the movies and books, it seems like the dinosaur can't see things that aren't moving. You might remember this scene from Jurassic Park where the main characters pretend that Tyrannosaurus Rex can't see you if you don't move. Or this scene where the characters think staying still would make them invisible to the giant predator. Don't, don't move. It's not just the movie, but even in the original novel, Michael Crichton claimed that T-Rex had an amazing sense of smell, so they probably had bad eyesight. Recent studies suggest the T-Rex probably had really good eyesight, maybe even better than eagles. Countless data suggests that the grapefruit-sized eyes had a great depth perception, adding more strength to their vision. This means it could see things very clearly, up close and far away. Animals like crocodiles and birds use their eyes to hunt, and they have special features like sensitive light and a sharp focus area in their eyes. But in the movies, the T-Rex's eyes are shown a bit different from real life, which might make it seem like it couldn't see well. However, in reality, the T-Rex could likely spot movement and danger way before anyone knew it was there, no matter what time of day it was. Studies conducted in 2006 and later followed up in 2011 indicated that Tyrannosaurus likely had visual acuity comparable to that of eagles. With a binocular range of depth perception exceeding 55 degree, Tyrannosaurus would have been capable of focusing on nearby objects while also scanning the environment over three times farther than a human. This animal not only had rare eyesight, but also produced a rare sound. Don't be fooled by the roars you see in the movies, even though it's quite tempting to imagine a big animal roaring like a lion or an elephant. Like you see in this scene of Jurassic World Dominion, in reality, T-Rex was different. Julia Clark, a paleontologist, maintains that the majority of large carnivores today are mammals, and they make roars. But T-Rex is not like the regular mammals and predator species that exist today. This is an animal most closely related to owls and crocodiles, and such animals make very different kinds of sounds. Julia Clark and naturalist Chris Packham examined Tyrannosaurus's closest living ancestors to determine its true voice. Large reptiles such as alligators and crocodiles make deep, frightening booms. Using special scans of the T-Rex's skull, 
scientists found out something cool about its hearing. They realized that T-Rex could hear one particular low sound really well, the call of another T-Rex. To test this, they adjusted the sound of a modern Chinese alligator to match what a T-Rex would hear. And guess what? The outcome was a chilling, deep rumble that felt eerie to hear. In real life, this epic predator was often quiet and hunted without alerting the prey. But in movies such as Jurassic World Dominion, T-Rex's calls sound more like loud roars. One reason for this is to make scenes scarier. The sudden, loud roar adds to the scary moments on screen. We also see that T-Rexes are hardly ever quiet. Their thunderous footsteps and frequent roars make things pretty dramatic. But when it comes to sneaking up on prey or moving quietly, this is a big problem. According to movie logic, they roar so much to scare their food into running so that they can see it better. Like in the third movie of Jurassic Park, there are times when the dinosaurs are sneaky, but usually they roar before charging. Another aspect hugely misrepresented in movies is their thunder steps, which would alert the prey from miles away. In real life, T-Rexes were quiet walkers. They even had padding on their feet like elephants and tigers, so they could sneak around without making much noise. Moreover, scientists have only recently started figuring out how dinosaurs moved. During the 90s, scientists thought that T-Rex was fast at running but slow at turning. Recent research shows that T-Rexes were actually pretty good at turning quickly. They had to move around in dense forests and hunt diverse animals. Even though they were huge, T-Rexes were still agile, even more so than other big predators. This agility isn't the same as speed, though. In the Jurassic movies, T-Rexes are shown as fast runners, like in the car chase scene. But they're often outsmarted by raptors, humans, and even other big predators. A full-grown T-Rex would have been slower than the ones in the movies. But young T-Rexes grew quickly and were remarkably swift. They could keep up with a racehorse. These young ones could catch prey quicker than their parents. But young T-Rex wasn't always careless and hunting, because Tyrannosaurus rex wasn't the only animal that lived during this time. At the end of the Cretaceous period, it lived in western North America, alongside other dinosaurs, such as the Ceratopsians, Triceratops, and Taurosaurus, the Hadrosaurid Montosaurus, the Armored Ankylosaurus, Stygimaloc, Pachycephalosaurus and Dracorex, the smaller theropod Trudon, and the Ornithomimid Struthiomimus. Even though we see T-Rex coexisting with Brachiosaurus, Dilophosaurus, and Velociraptor in the movies, in real life, they never coexisted at the same time. In fact, they all belonged to different areas of prehistoric times. While the movies didn't get many of the details right with T-Rex, this iconic dinosaur hasn't been done justice on the big screen either. For proof, check out this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.